Thank you for purchasing the Ergoform 3D, the most precise and versatile thermoforming system available today. This video will cover the setup and the use of the Ergoform 3D and Aquaform 3 unit. Setup and use of the Ergoform 3D. You will find enclosed in your Ergoform packaging complete instructions and materials to thermoform all types of appliances. First, locate the electrical cord and plug it into the back of the unit. Place the granules collecting device in the front of the unit to catch any loose granules. If the collecting device is loose, add a small piece of ErcoGem to the bottom of the device and place back into the unit. Place the form pot into the forming chamber. Fill the form pot with steel granules. Place the stone model into the granules, only exposing the area to thermoform. Use your brush to compress the granules. Turn the unit on at the main switch. The touch screen panel will display Ercadent and then sensor window clean. Use clean water to moisten the cloth to wipe the sensor clean. Make sure that the sensor window is free of dust and dirt to avoid measuring mistakes. Use the list of foils button to choose the correct foil or disc. For this example, we are using the Ercoflex 1.5 mm foil. Press Continue. Turn the foil reception ring to the right. Next, remove the foil securing ring. Put in the correct disc or foil and reattach the foil securing ring. Place the granulate cover over the model. Press Start. Turn the foil reception ring to the left, underneath the heating unit. The panel will show the rated temperature, which is the temperature for the foil or disc selected. The actual temperature is the correct heating temperature of the foil or disc. There will be an audible signal once the temperature reaches 10 degrees Celsius prior to the correct rated temperature. Once the correct temperature is reached, you will hear a continuous signal, and then the heating unit will turn off. Rotate the foil reception away from the heating unit and immediately over the model. Firmly press down on the foil reception to complete thermoforming. The cooling time will begin to count down backwards. When completely cooled, remove the foil securing ring and take out the model with the foil disc. The thermoforming is now complete. Setting up the optional Aquaform 3 device. Now let's set up the optional Aquaform 3 device. Remove all parts from the box and lay out. Now place the fixation ring onto the Ercoform 3D housing and line up the pin with a supporting pin at right angles to the unit. Make sure to align the point at the form pot of the 3D housing unit with the ring. Be sure the fixation ring is seated firmly and tighten the Allen screw. When positioning the arresting joint, align points A, B, and C as shown. Place the upper model plate into the highest position. This is the best starting position to articulate the models. Note that one scale line at the supporting pin is about one millimeter at the incisal point. When the arresting joint is not closing properly, oil needs to be added. Unscrew the black nut and pull it out. Use machinery oil to fill the tube 90% full. Screw the black nut back onto the unit. Close the arresting joint to check that it is functioning properly. If not, there might be a leak in the system and it needs to be repaired. 
How to imprint the opposing bite for the fabrication of an adjusted splint. To make an imprint of the opposing bite when using the Aquaform 3 for an adjusted splint, you'll first need to clamp the model where the foil should be thermoformed on in the model pot. Using a hexagon socket wrench M on the model pot, carefully clamp the model at a slight tilt. Note that it's useful to secure the model at an angle, for instance, when undercuts are present. Place the model pot with the model into the unit, and be certain the marking points are directly opposite. Once the points are lined up, the model will engage into the centering plate of the unit. Clamp the opposing bite model into the plate of the upper model. If the model of the upper jaw is in the model pot, block the upper joint of the joint column using the swivel screw. And if the model of the lower jaw is on the model pot, block the lower joint using the swivel screw. Next, fill the model pot with the high-grade steel granules. For our purposes, the model pot can also be taken off. The granules may also be put below the model, although you must be sure that all granules are well compressed underneath the model to ensure no undercuts. Place the forming pot back into the forming chamber. Cover with the granulate cover. Be sure that the arresting joint is flexible and hold the model plate with the model while closing the occludating bow until the supporting pin has contact. Grip the upper model plate and fix the arresting joint. You will know the model is secured once the supporting pin is on the zero scale line. If you have a construction bite, place it on the model and close the occludating bow. Notice that now the support pin is no longer touching the support table. Loosen and lower the support pin till it contacts the table. Now remove the construction bite. When closed, you will see that the bite is now open. This gives you enough room for the thermoforming material. If a construction bite is not available, use the supporting pin to raise the bite. Now you are ready to thermoform the model using the same procedures as the ERCOFORM 3D operating instructions. After thermoforming is complete, immediately close the occludating bow and be sure the supporting pin gets contact while the hand remains on the press button. Before you open the bow and remove the model, allow the occluform to cool down completely. You have just completed an opposing bite for fabrication of an adjusted splint. How to make a 4mm Urcolock Pro bite splint. To begin, place the upper model into the model container and tighten the Allen screw. As you see, all thermoformed areas are above the model container. Now fill the model container with steel granules. Be sure to fill in any open areas and pack firmly. Then place the model container into the 3D thermoforming chamber and align the dots. Next, loosen the joint screw on the Aquaform 3 and place the opposing model. Tighten the Allen screw completely. Then be sure the joint screw is tightened as shown. With the model container in the thermoforming unit, position the open construction bite onto the upper model. Then loosen the joint screw on the Aquaform hanger and position the opposing lower model into the bite. Be sure the joint screw is tightened completely. Remove the construction bite and close the Aquaform. 